I owe my success to having listened respectfully to the very best advice, and then going away and doing the exact opposite. He speaks for the pig-headed and visionary alike. Sometimes one must buck the conventional wisdom. I don't know the word quit. Either I never did, or I have abolished it. There comes a time in everyone's life where the idea of just throwing in the towel is attractive. You're exhausted. The obstacles feel insurmountable. Far and away the best prize that life offers is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. People get caught up in the product and forget the worth of anything lies in the process. Win or lose, it's the fact that you tried, with all you could offer, to do the best at something you feel is of value. That alone is rewarding. If you really look closely, most overnight successes took a long time. They're beneath the ground, having spent years digging through the hard ground to stabilize and feed the tree's growth. It is also so with business. Almost everything worthwhile carries with it some sort of risk, whether it's starting a new business, whether it's leaving home, whether it's getting married, or whether it's flying into space. Going into space feels like a bigger risk than starting a company. That puts things in perspective, though, and acknowledges the fact that nothing is without risk, therefore, don't try to completely bubble wrap your enterprise. Even if you are on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. He offered practical business advice, complacency is death. Even if you're doing the right thing, if you're not moving forward, constantly pushing yourself to reach beyond your comfort zone, then you're in trouble. The real test is not whether you avoid this failure, because you won't. It's whether you let it harden or shame you into an action, or whether you learn from it, whether you choose to persevere. The Affordable Health Care Act was more than once dead in the water, but the president didn't give up. He compromised, he convinced and he labored, but not once did he allow himself to become embittered. 